Hi all, Ian here. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use uh, the Curve Warp Deformer with MASH to do some cool procedural modeling stuff. Uh, so if you don't know what Curve Warp is, it's new and it is a, a deformer on a curve uh, tool. So um, after the fact I'll just quickly show you. So if I just create some 3D type and I'm just going to shrink the type down a bit. Then with the type selected and the um, the, a curve selected, just go to deform curve warp and then um, you've got a load of options. Um, so if I just um, adjust the offset here, um, we'll, our type will move along the curve which is pretty cool and um, yeah you've got, you've got, there's loads of things on curve warp, uh, don't even know where to begin. Uh, let's take a look at um, if we, we can rotate the uh, we can rotate the deforming object along the curve if we want to, um, or we can have it twist as it moves along the curve by um, putting a value in the twist rotation and then adjusting this graph so that when you move the object along the curve, it kind of rotates as it goes, which is pretty nifty. Um, so, yep, that is basically all I'm going to show you about curve warp. Um, there's other things, there's like clever things you can do with aim curves and um, alignments and blah 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 blah. Um, so let's get rid of our type and let's uh, create a mash network. I'm going to create a mash network with this selected here. This is a magnificently model, I think you'll all agree, a chain link. So, or two chain links. And um, if I create a mash network uh, like that, and I'm just going to space the objects out slightly um, just to get something like that and then what I can do because this is a mesh so select it it's a mesh uh, because we're in repro mode uh, we can deform it so uh, let's just select the curve as well and then go uh, deform curve warp and then our uh, mesh kind of uh, mesh <laughs> is being deformed along the curve and because it is mesh you can adjust everything so uh, let's just increase the number of points and then we can increase the distance along the curve that these things are going and then um, on if we select this and go to curve warp, we can move it along the curve if you want to. Um, and then because um, this is uh, curve warp, um, which is kind of live, let's just select the end actually, uh, what we can do is move the curve and you'll see that um, everything kind of updates properly. And you'll notice that even though we're stretching the curve, um, our objects aren't being stretched. So it's just, um, it's just clever like that. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of well, I'm going to show you. Actually, there's one more thing to, to mention, um, is that when you're deforming a, um, the output mesh from mesh, um, you might get weird things happening with normals, like it's happening here. Um, and what, the way to fix that is just to do a set normal angle, um, and then that will, uh, nope. <laughs> there are two things you need to do. You need to unlock the normals and then do a, a set normal angle. So, um, sorry, hold on. Oh, that's done it, yeah. So you need to set the normal angles and unlock the normals, and then you'll get uh, um, good normals again. Um, yeah, so just something to be aware of. That is, um, we're definitely classifying that as a bug, so it's something we'll aim to fix. Um, but there you go. Uh, that is using Curve Warp and Mash to do kind of nifty modeling things.